India is no stranger to extreme temperatures. Heat waves, cold snaps, long fiery summers and icy cold winters are all a part of living in the world's largest democracy. How in the winters, you'll feel like constantly eating rich, fatty, indulgent food, while in the summer, even just the thought of eating something rich or fatty can make you feel uncomfortably full. So what gives? Why do we lose our appetite in the summer? Why does winter automatically trigger a craving for warm, wholesome food? And how does heat affect your appetite? Let's find out. To understand how heat affects your body, you need to understand two concepts, thermoregulation and thermogenesis. Now the term therm, the word therm comes from Greek meaning heat. Thermoregulation is the process through which warm-blooded animals maintain their core temperatures. We've already discussed what happens to the body under extreme heat in this video. So go check that out if you haven't already. Now many factors affect your internal temperature. These include the outside temperature, clothing, exercise or any activity you get, the food you eat, the sleep you get and certain drugs. Now food is one such key factor that affects your body's core temperature. This is where we bring in the second concept, thermogenesis. Thermogenesis is the process of metabolic activity generating heat. Activities like eating and exercise generate heat as a byproduct. That's why when you get moderate to intense exercise, you start to sweat, or at least I start to sweat. Now the food you eat also heavily affects your core temperature. Some foods generate more heat when they're digested, while others generate less. This is known as the thermic effect of food or diet-induced thermogenesis. The amount of heat generated as a byproduct of the food you eat varies based on whether you're consuming fat, protein, or carbohydrates. The water content in your food also affects its thermic effect. A 2004 study reported the following about the different nutrients and their thermic effects. Fat has a thermic effect of 0% to 3%. Carbohydrates have a thermic effect of 10% while protein has a thermic effect of 20 to 30 percent. In a healthy subject with a mixed diet, diet-induced thermogenesis is about 10 percent of the total energy they consumed over 24 hours. Fat and protein tend to be more thermogenic than carbohydrates and as a result, they'll make you feel hotter after you eat them, even sweating to cool yourself off. That's why you'll experience something called the meat sweats which is where you sweat after eating a meal that's loaded with protein and or carbohydrates and fat. That's also why you don't feel like eating rich fatty meat too often in the summers, especially if you live in a tropical country like India. Your body just becomes uncomfortably hot. Now, as your core temperature rises, you'll progressively experience more discomfort. Again, we've covered what your body experiences as your internal temperature rises in this video. Go check that out if you haven't already seen it. So to protect you from overheating, your appetite for heavy foods with a high thermogenic effect goes down in the summers. You still experience hunger if you don't meet your daily energy requirements, which is why you still feel hungry, but you won't have a large appetite. It's been studied and proven that humans eat less as the heat rises. Take for example, this excerpt from 1947 study on the effect of heat on the appetite of soldiers in different geographic regions. The study found that the food intake of soldiers and infantry troops from the Canadian Arctic to the tropical Philippines varied despite both groups being offered as much food as they wanted. Troops in the tropics ate on average 3100 calories a day while the troops who were stationed in the Arctic ate an approximate 4900 calories a day. The same was confirmed in 1964 with another study observing a 25% decrease in food intake by soldiers in Yemen as compared to soldiers who were stationed in the United Kingdom. When it's cold, you have to expend energy to keep yourself warm. But it takes more energy to warm yourself up than to cool yourself down, which is why you don't crave foods with high energy loads like fat-rich food in the summer. Additionally, we tend to sweat a lot in the summer, as much as 1.4 liters of sweat per hour of exercise. And it just so happens that a lot of low calorie foods like fruits and cruciferous vegetables tend to offer the fluids your body craves so desperately. So in short, people tend to eat more in the cold, craving food that's rich and fatty and less in the summers when they're already trying to limit the heat they have to endure.